Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Hodge here, also known as Mr. Cool, Mr. K-E-W-L. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about the scripture reading and today's theme of anti-bullying, right? We want to create this Catholic, beautiful Catholic community in our school uh, and we want you all to get along and create a wonderful welcoming environment for all. The reading that uh, we just read came from the New Testament. And you might know, you might not, that it came after, uh, <clears throat> after the time of Jesus. Okay? And it came from a time when the Catholic Church was building its membership and building its community. And it's a message of coming together, of changing, and of saying goodbye to our old ways, and welcoming in our new ways of, of being, of loving one another, of caring and being kind. And this isn't new stuff. This is stuff that, that uh, teachers tell you every single day. Uh, we could pick it out word for word, uh, put away falsehood, okay? We're not lying. We're being truthful for our neighbors, okay? Uh, they're accepting that it's okay to be angry. It's okay to have various emotions rather than just being happy all the time. But we don't, we don't let that uh, lead to sin or transgressions, all right? Uh, what else is in here? Uh, we're sharing with the needy, we're being kind, okay? We're not saying bad words out of our mouths. We're not saying hateful things out of our mouths. We're, we're using our words to build others up and to make them beautiful. Um, others feel accepted and welcomed into our community. So, uh, to put that into perspective, though, I have a, a little symbol here. This is, this is my wife's beautiful plant here, and it grows. Um, sorry, she's across from me, and she didn't know I was going to use her plant for this. Um, it shows how lovely things can grow, and each one of you is just like this plant. A beautiful plant that, that God himself created just the way he wanted it so they could bring joy and light and beauty into the world around it. And what happens when we bully or that we are doing mean things or we're hurting others, it's just like hurting one of God's creations, it's like ripping that right out of the ground. And all the roots there we can see and all the dirt. <laughs> Sorry, my, my wife isn't too happy with me right now. She really likes this plant. Just like we wouldn't be very happy with you if you did that, right? And if I just left that on the counter and hoped that maybe one day my wife would pick it up or someone else would make things right, it would probably die, right? It wouldn't have any water. It wouldn't have any anything to protect its roots. Uh, it wouldn't be able to take in water because the roots would all dry out. Okay? And it would probably die. But one of the nice things is that when we make a choice not to be bullies and when we make a choice to welcome others into our our uh, Catholic community and our way of, of accepting and loving each other is that any of these plants that have been ripped out or any new seedlings that we're going to start, we can kind of dig a little hole, say kind words, do kind actions, and by doing so, we can replant that person, that plant, that whatever you want to say, so that they can grow and continue to be a beautiful beacon of who uh, God has called them to be in our Christian community. Okay, So we want to turn a new leaf as we go forward today. We want to welcome others to join us. We want to have nice words, whether we're in person or whether we're good digital citizens. Okay, uh, We want to be kind and caring and all those wonderful things so that we can be uh, like Jesus calls us, welcoming, loving, caring, empathetic, all these wonderful things. I hope my presentation has uh, sparked some thought within you, and uh, we will do our prayers of the faithful now, which lead us to pray for help and for our community. Uh, then we'll say a prayer um, to our Father to help us. You'll notice in there it says, um, our Father, uh, just a second, I'll pull
pulling up so I have the exact lyrics. And it says, um, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. And then it's not temptation, but deliver us from evil. That fits right into the theme for today, right? We're forgiving others who have done wrong against us. Um, we're asking God to not tempt us to, to be bullies or to be angry or mean people in our communities um, and to lead us into the light. And then we'll have a quick song to, to quiet our hearts and think about what was said today. So enjoy that, and we'll talk again soon.